Hi folks, I thought I'd do another little oil painting. I'm using up the scraps from the 2mm MDF that I was recently using. Shame to throw it away or burn it because it will live as a little, hopefully a little gem. Probably not. But that's what I did Monday, the old ruin. And it seems to be doing quite well. So I'll, I'll base one on that and I'll put the uh, motif slightly to the right, uh, quite low down. I, I, I just love these skies with uh, the oil. So I've just squeezed out a bit of white and I want some, some cadmium red. Cadmium yellow light and some burnt sienna. We should be able to cope with uh, those four colours. So the first thing is to get, get the sky roughed in dark overhead. I'm using my box easel here. That's just a piece of uh, furniture, laminated wood that I use for my watercolour support mainly. But this is quite a small site, it won't fit on the easel. So I've had to tape it. Uh, the box, I've, I've, I've closed the legs on it and it's sitting on a roller sort of table with a piece of melamine. Um, DIY type cupboard side shelf on top of it with with a, a board that is over the box of these with the you know, the drawer that slides out. So I can go from this quickly, this setup quickly to watercolour. So that makes it quite easy. It's taken me quite quite or it's taken quite a long time to evolve this setup. I'm just sitting trouble is I it could be doing with a thing a little bit higher, but uh, will be a little bit lower. I'm using uh, walnut oil with alkyd resin. Oh, this brush is so old, look, it's starting to, the ferrule's starting to break. But it's still giving good service. So we'll put a bit of, a bit of red and a bit of blue in the sky. Lump of oil. And just, just get it in and we can go from there and see what what happens. This should dry quite quickly being oil but with a fast dryer. So that's basically my sky there. Really a bit about there. Another plenty of red. Okay, get a bit of a, I'm not using any cleaner fluid, I've just been to the, the docks, uh, get some more medication to help clear up what I did damage with the solvent last week, or the week before last. So read the labels folks, if you're doing oil painting, you're using I'm not going to use water soluble oils unless somebody buys me a set and I choose the colour in large enough tubes. Then I might try it. But I've got so many uh, traditional Winton oils and uh, artist qualities. That's a Winton. Cadmium Yellow Deep. Might even put some of that out. Wear an apron, otherwise your jeans will suffer. Uh, okay, so let's just put in some strokes for a bit of a building. So, I know this ferrule and that one's loose. When your ferrules come off, they do eventually. I just dip it in a bit of PVA wood, wood glue and stick it back. Seems to work. Okay, so let's have a light on the, on the left of the building. So let's just... Let's just put something here. Want it light, otherwise it's not going to show up against that. This is only a rough in. Okay, we'll have a slightly uh, darker version of that. Or a shadowy version. It's got to show. So we're going to put some light in the sky there to 
counter change. Sort of a castle. Gonna put more oil on that. Uh, it's a little bit of a copy of what we did. But that doesn't matter, it's oil and I'm working for my own painting. Okay, right, let's get a bit of bit of light behind that now. So a bit of light breaking through. Great thing about oil is it stays where it's put. We have loads of oil. So I will show counter change. Pinch of red. You can paint whatever colour you like. We're trying to do sort of impressionist work here. And I'm on a site, a Facebook site. I know Facebook's got a bad name at the moment, isn't it? With some of the skullduggery that's been going on with it. I've had political pop-ups trying to poison me. Didn't work that. All right, let's get some. Let's get a bit of green in there. Um, do you all want a ready-made green? No, the answer is no. So we make our greens from from yellow, blue, and modify them with a bit of bit of red. Now this is just the rough in. Yellow and blue. Complement the red. Nope. I'll put some trees on there, we'll go with a bit of purple. And that's our basic. Something like that. I will probably take that out. Supposed to be a tree. I really want that on the hill there, so let's come down with some more lovely dark. The shadow in the trees. Bit of red, bit of blue, bit of oil. A great painter in oil was Lazo Ritter, who I took over from him in the Webster Gallery years ago because he was had an illness. He's dead now. But Google his work. He was a great impressionist painter. Could paint in any style, could last right. And he used a lot of oil in his work. Sometimes running down the page to the other canvas. Did the most magical Venice paintings. Okay, so there we are, we're coming on. I'll just move my light round, okay. 
I'm just keeping my brushes clean by dragging them through a dry cloth, getting most of the paint off. And I'll give them a good clean with Swarfiga at the end and a bit of soap, of course. Keep them all nice and soft, so that's busting. Well, yeah, this brush is about it, isn't it? Sad when a, when a trusty brush finally gives up the ghost. Right, uh, let's get a nice dark tree on that right hand side then. Okay, so that's a good start, isn't it? So I'll put that brush to one side and I'm going to use my half inch flat brush, my nylon brush here. Right, now I'm going to put in this uh, side there. I'll do some more sky in a minute, but yellow, red, white oil. Oh, we'll just get that. It's nice to get that sort of vertical. Okay. Now we've got this mid-tone here and a mid-tone there, so I want a darker tone on that uh, shadow side. Oil. I will put that in there. I'm going to have to uh, make that sky much lighter around there. By the time I put some walls and stuff on there. Right, let's go back to that sky over, over the top. See if we can uh, thicken up a bit. Now we want some greys now. Oh, this is so, so enjoyable. Get more red in that. I haven't got a frame or anything for this one, it's just painting on a scrap really. That's where we want the light there and more dark in there. Okay, how to change. I mean, it could be unrealistic. I, we're struggling to find a definition for modern Impressionism really on British Impressionists because we've moved on from Monet and, well not that we'll ever move on, but they were wonderful, but uh, the thing is we can't just pass ourselves off as modern Impressionism, Impressionist doing the stuff that they did, the way they did it. One great modern Impressionist in my opinion is uh, Arthur Madison. A wonderful, wonderful artist, but even he has got away from endless little dots and complementary colours and so on because it was probably taking so long. And life goes on. Okay, plenty of oil on there. So let's get a bit of that light back in the sky now. See that is nice and soften the red. That must be light there. 
Don't forget the oil. Otherwise it won't show. Be too close in tone. Alright, let's get him with some bit of red now. Beautiful day in London. It was a bit cold to start with after what we have had of late. Soften. Some some orangey colours in there. So we've got to find different ways to express what we feel about something rather than paint what is exactly there. Because that's all been done. So all we're left with is with our own interpretation, painting what we feel is good in a view, if we want to do views, which we do. And there's some good painters on the British Impressionists. Touches of paint really with something as small as this. I'm absolutely loving this by painting. I've, I know many of you have come on my channel because of the watercolours. But you've, there's plenty for you there. There's loads and loads of hundreds, hundreds, thousands, fifteen hundred, even more on Patreon. Right, just just moderate some of this in the sky. Otherwise, it's just a flat area of dark. We want colour in it as well. Let's put some. Put a bit of that in uh, down the bottom here. No, I want dark red those way because I want my my greens to show up. So let's go back and sort that out. It's like a stormy sky, but you need the counter change. I hope this is inspiring you to get out the old oils which have been lying in the drawer dormant because you don't like the mess or smell. There's virtually no smell with this because of the, the walnut oil. You could probably drink it or cook with it. Hmm, hardly any smell. <coughs> I've just left with the aftermath of what I did last two weeks ago. <coughs> Right, let's go and get some darks in there now. So I'm really only using three colours. Well, they're more or less straight, isn't it? Soften the edges. Don't like hard edges. Just overlap a little bit. Just wondering if I could, if that is just too much of that wall showing there. Let's sort of change that a little bit. You can always fast forward through the uh, 
slow bit. I can't make a cup of tea. Not anything then, is it? Right, a little bit of a surgery. Needs to be darker still. So the darkest dark is is the red and blue mixed without any whites, just a bit of oil. Get that green back in there. I bought this little brush for use 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 with watercolour. It's very handy. Got some really nice light light yellows in there. I think. It's the oil that, that makes this. Right, let's just get a bit of that so mauvey colour in. I want to just get some light on top of the trees now. Just a slight shade of green. Do you know what I mean? The, the, uh, the paint just stays where it is, provided it actually sticks. I'll change the brush. Bring me tea. What I'm trying to do is just get a light, a lovely light green on there. <coughs> then we can put some reds in.
No, I wasn't ready to start red now. In here. Dark red paint, just mix in with a bit of blue. Oh well. Just to get those greens to sing a little bit. I'm used to painting this small. Can't be the old stipple. Still not showing up, that still needs to be lighter there. Right, let's get some nice rich greens now in that foreground. Nothing too elaborate there, but we don't want anything to take away from the castle really. Dark in there. Over that hill. <coughs> right, uh, back with this little brush here. It's probably the most expensive brush on the table. This is a Taylor. Taylor Bristol White. Now, so I want white now, but I don't want it dead white. I want it slightly pinky. Coming on. Now we still need dark, more darks. So go back with that blue and that red. And just get that in there. The old ruin. What does that look like? Well, it's certainly impressionist, that's for sure. Uh, touch of white and a touch of yellow on there. Sure, I still can't get that dark enough. So, if I mix a bit of yellow in with it, and blue and red, it might give it a. I'm mixing the three primaries. I just went dark there. Dark there.
going to highlight it. Look, it's backlit, so that would be a shadow down there. So let's do it as a shadow. Blend all that. So now we can put a light coming through there now. We could put that in. A bit stuck through there. Don't want any repetition. Try to keep that out. Now there's no detail, or well, at least there's nothing done with, with uh, the rigger. Uh, we could put a few specks of red in, a bit of oil. Yeah, a few, a few poppies. They always go, go down well. With all that green, you need reds to complement. Don't know why I did that. I'll probably do a watercolour later in my setup. Actually, that would be a mid-tone, wouldn't it? Now think about it, the light's coming from there, so maybe I'll bring that light over a bit. That's what I'll do. So we'll get some, some nice... light there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So then that light can be cast across. Catching. I think we're nearly there. Maybe that's a bit, just a bit too rough. Just want to pick out a colour to, to take over there, off the sheet, of the board. This oil was dried very nicely. Get good discipline using uh, just three colours. Soften that.
Okay, well I'm going to let that go. I'm not too displeased with that. <coughs> um, the old ruin. Um, yeah, well I'm going to let that go. See what you think. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I won't take it out of the... Well, let's, let's zoom in. And have a look at what we've done there. Get that focus on there. So what I've done, I've, I've moved the light over to here, for, well, for all that, so that does actually catch a bit of light. This then is in shadow. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to let that go. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Thanks for watching, folks. Oops, this the sky. There it is. See you soon. Bye-bye.